top five reasons to use FreeBSD in 2018. Number five, ZFS. ZFS is a combined file system and volume manager. Since version 7.0, FreeBSD has included a production quality ZFS implementation, making it one of the key features of the FreeBSD OS. Decoupling physical media from logical volumes allows free space to be efficiently shared between all of the file systems. ZFS introduced unprecedented data integrity and reliability guarantees to storage on FreeBSD. ZFS supports varying levels of redundancy for tolerance of hardware failures and includes cryptographic checksums on all data to guard against corruption. It has to be noted however that even though it may be referenced as ZFS on FreeBSD, it is actually known as the Open ZFS project. Number 4. Community and Support FreeBSD is centered, first and foremost, on its community. Although corporations use the operating system and at times assist with its development, the integrity of the community approach is maintained at all times. Interaction occurs between experienced and beginner users on forums and through the internet relay chat. Advice is dispensed through email newsletters as well and a core team is elected by the community for monitoring and management but it mostly resolves conflicts between developers rather than steering the direction of the OS. Number three, required system specs. All of us know that with every new release of Windows OS a huge number of hardware systems become obsolete as their technical specifications are no longer adequate to run the latest Windows OS. Even Linux, which was once able to run on low spec machines, is starting to creep that way. FreeBSD makes very efficient use of the system resources and its installation can be customized for users and for specific hardware requirements. The installation procedure is very flexible and allows users to choose what they want to install. This allows them to install FreeBSD even on old hardware, thus helping in optimal use of all hardware resources. FreeBSD runs on a wide range of hardware, right from supercomputers to games consoles. You can give new life to your old and slow Windows system by installing FreeBSD, or even run a NAS or media streamer using Free, free NAS, which is based on FreeBSD. There are also lightweight desktops like Lumina, XFCE, JWM, Fluxbox and LXDE which can run on lower end PCs and make excellent desktops. I myself run the Motive window manager and I find it to be fast and efficient. Number 2. Free and open source software. FreeBSD is free and open source. This means you can add it to a computer or laptop you already own or a machine you've built yourself without paying anything. All the basic software required by a typical user and even advanced users are available. Dozens of educational software are available under FreeBSD. Even the equivalent of professional software for desktop publishing, photo editing, audio editing and video editing are available. Businesses can use the software free of cost and reduce their IT budgets substantially. Once you install FreeBSD, you have the potential to access thousands of free applications and programs such as web browsers, media players, image editors, office suites and so on. So you won't need to fork out extra cash just to work on photos or documents. And of course, you get all future updates for free too. Unlike Linux, you won't be bedazzled by a myriad of different sounding but ultimately similar distributions. FreeBSD is a complete OS where the base install is separate from the user land software thus making updating and fault prevention so much easier. A quick mention, a quick mention of the FreeBSD license. It propagates complete freedom, independent of the desired use. As long as the author's credits remain in the source code files, you may redistribute it, optimize it, customize it, and use it as the basis for your own products. And you can document it and share it to your friends or print it to all paper if you wish. But yet people keep arguing about what's the most liberal license out there. BSD or the GPL. The GPL also permits modifications and redistributions as well as commercial use of software, but in contrast to the BSD license, one has to re-contribute all changes back and furthermore, the full source must be also published, even in a commercial project. That may be off-putting to potential developers in large businesses and organizations. Number one, safety and security. 
Installing and using FreeBSD on your system is the easiest way to avoid viruses and malware. The security aspect is kept in mind when developing FreeBSD and it is much less vulnerable to viruses compared to Windows. Programs cannot make changes to the system settings and configuration unless the user is logged in as root. Most users do not log in as root and so they cannot do much damage to the system except their own files and programs. Another advantage of FreeBSD is that you can browse the internet without worrying about your system getting infected. The reason for this higher level of security is that since FreeBSD and the userland programs are open source software, the source code is available for review. A huge number of developers all over the world have gone through the code which means that for the most of their flaws are already been discovered. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button so I know that I'm doing everything right. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please consider pressing the subscribe button. And thanks for watching.